Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson Fashion, and I'm back with another video. Hold on, let me adjust this real quick for y'all. So, as y'all can see in the title above, I just want to give y'all a little health update and how I'm feeling today. Today, I'm actually feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. Yesterday, unfortunately, I had to be rushed back to the hospital. Because when I was getting in the shower, everything around me was spinning. And I was like, oh shit, like what's going on? Like when you go through them symptoms of transferring, it, it literally felt like all of the blood was rushing to my head. Like I was in a lot of pain yesterday, especially for my head and my eyes. Everything was blurry. I was seeing everything in double vision. Like, I never had that happen to me before. So, I really didn't know, you know, how to handle it and process it. Because I was like, oh, shit. Did it get worse? I'm thinking that the blood in my brain got worse. So, I called my dad. told him what was going on. He came, picked me up. Took me to the hospital. And instead of me having to wait in the um, waiting room, they pretty much rushed me to the back and put me in the room. Started, and started taking my vitals. My blood pressure was low. But it wasn't too bad. It was just a little bit low. Then they shipped me the CAT scan. Y'all, when I tell you I was nervous as fuck, I was literally nervous as fuck because of the fact that, okay, I already have CP and us people with CP, we do not need to fall. Like a fall is traumatic for us because our muscles and body don't flow like every other person, which um, y'all can hate me for saying it that way. But it's reality, it's truth, it's facts. A lot of people will agree with me on that. But, yeah, like, I was really nervous because I'm like, I'm already disabled. I have cerebral palsy. I have all these spasms. I have a pass of seizures. What if the next time I have a seizure that this can get a lot worse? What if, like, that's all I'm thinking is what if, like, while I'm going through the CAT scan, but boom, and within like five minutes, the CAT scan was done, and I was sent back to the emergency room. Within the next 45 to minutes to an hour, excuse me, um, the doctor came in, and she was like, Mr. Sussex Church, everything is fine, nothing got worse. You still have that little pocket of blood in the back of your head that we need to keep, you know, keep checking on. Make an appointment with your primary care and make an appointment with the neurologist to schedule another care scan. Okay, boom. I called my father. He, he picks me up 30 minutes later, like literally 30 minutes later. And he's he says, hey, you're going to my house tonight. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to your house. Why? And that's honestly, I do see what he was talking about because he wanted me to go to his house so he wouldn't have to be worried about me. Because I get it, he's, he's a parent. But a parent is going to worry about their kid, especially when their kid has a head injury. So my father came to make sure he picked me up. Offer me some food, but honestly, y'all, yesterday, I did not have an appetite at all. All I wanted to do was go to sleep, which I should have ate something because that may would have helped a little bit. But at that moment in time, my mind was made up. I'm not eating. I'm going to sleep, and that's what I did. I went to sleep. This morning, I um woke up. Went to the bathroom. I wasn't dizzy, but I do, but I did still have a headache. 
my father asked me, like, what did you want to do? Did, did you want to go home? Did you want to stay a couple more days? I said, no, I'll go home. And now I'm home. I'm back. And I'm feeling okay now. Like, since I've been home, I washed the dishes, um, cleaned up a little bit. Still got a lot more to do. But I'm getting back into the swing of things. Like, I think the people that checked on me, I think the people that have been concerned, it really means a lot. I just hope that nothing like that happens again because, honestly, y'all, that shit was scary. I was I was really scared, but everything is fine now, y'all. I'm back. I'm better than that. Well, I'm not better than ever yet, but I will be. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, also, please, 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 tell me if you had a experience where you fail, lost consciousness, or had to be rushed to the hospital. Tell me what that was like for you. Like, were you scared? Um... Was did you did you have anxiety in that process? What was it like for you? I want to hear that because that honestly helps me when I go through these experiences. I learned so much from you guys in my, on my Instagram that I'm truly thankful. So yeah, just leave that in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and press the post notification bell because I will be dropping more videos as time go on. Oh, you guys, please, 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 go support Surviving Cerebral Palsy. Her link will be in my comment section below. She has been one of my best supporters that I have had on this channel. Whenever she sees me going through something, she checks on me. I can call her and we can just talk about our situations. Everything is good with her y'all she is super amazing she's super friendly she's super genuine go check out her channel she does pranks reactions story times and she has cute kids how can you not watch somebody with cute kids go check her out right now her link will be in my description box below and i am out love you